Well, my name is Erica, and I am the only girl of three siblings, and uh, I have a loving mother, and her name is Monica. During COVID, uh, we went through a lot of different things, uh, and we looked around in our city of Dallas for different programs that could provide us assistance. And one of the great things I love about Dallas is um, they care about their residents um, and there are government funded programs available to help us with almost anything we may go through. During COVID, uh, we lost my stepfather to cancer. He had a pain in his side, went to the doctor, and all of a sudden our lives were changed forever. He passed away 30 days later and um, we were shaken. In fact, we were filled with grief, depression, and stagnant. I lost jobs, opportunities, um, and I almost lost myself for a little bit. I, I didn't have the will to do much. And um, Sister Reverend uh, Harris reached out to me and invited me to join this program. And what a blessing it was to be a part of the Reclaiming Your Mental Health during COVID program was fitting for me and my family. Um, the facilitators were compassionate, they were understanding, and um, the participants even were um, a great sisterhood. Uh, it was a safe place for us to be vulnerable about all the different things we all came to the table with. And one of the things I love most about the program is it was based off of God's perspective. I've gotten help from other resources and other places, but how great it was to um, have mental health partnered with spiritual power, uh, to understand God's perspective about my situation and to know that trouble doesn't last long and, and grief is just temporary. Those are things that I had to be reminded of through this class. Uh, we were provided skills and tools that we could practice at home and with our family members. We were even provided laptops and hotspots for participants who wanted and needed the help but didn't have the tools required. Without this program, I don't know if I would have received my healing as fast. And I definitely know that my community wouldn't have had the opportunity to see someone who was once down in grief to rise up again and to know that, hey, if she did it, I can do it too. In fact, a few of my neighbors asked me, what have I been doing? I've been glowing. And I had to tell them about the class. Reclaiming mental health during COVID helped me to um, regain my mental footing. And we all know that as our mind uh, tells our body what to do, then our body functions. So now my mind is thinking clear and my body is moving in a clear direction. Some of my neighbors have even joined the class and they're doing well too. You know, there were a few people who didn't get a chance to. They've reached out and they wanted to participate and unfortunately I had to tell them that the class is over now. So um, I'm petitioning for more programs and more funding uh, to help individuals dealing with mental health, to help individuals become stronger in their mind, in their spirit, so we can be stronger individuals for ourselves, our families, and our neighborhoods. If I hadn't been invited into this program, if I didn't have knowledge of the Reclaiming Your uh, Mental Health During COVID program, I definitely would have received healing some other way, probably um, would have taken me longer. Um, it, um, the program offers something that I haven't found anywhere else. I'm a, an avid participant of several different programs. I believe in finding resources to better ourselves. And I've never been a part of a program that incorporates God and the physical, uh, and, and our physical reality. Because I'm a believer, 
this class actually helped me to not just grow um, according to um, productivity standards, but also it allowed me to grow spiritually. And I believe that when we grow spiritually, um, it allows our physical body to overcome certain challenges. And that's a tool that is not offered in several other programs. The understanding of the supernatural power of God that works within us, that allows us to do all things, even overcome challenging circumstances. So um, I, I'd hate to think about where we will be without the program.